Assalamualaikum semua. Hi. Uh, okay, class. Uh, this is our first recorded class. I'm very sorry for the delay. Alright. So, uh, today I will introduce you this subject, EPF 4801, Process Equipment Design. So, I prefer to speak in English uh, because uh, I... Okay, uh, I would like to keep this uh, recorded lecture material so that in the future I can still use the same material for international student. Eh? Let's say if do we do have an uh, international student. So if let's say you having any problem, uh, uh, you don't understand anything that I'm using. Okay, all right. Uh, you may uh, we we may discuss uh, through the comment column. Or uh, you may see me later after this, eh? after the two weeks, uh, after second week eh? of the lecture class. All right. So let's we check what you understand about this. Okay. What is plan and process design? Do you have any idea about this? Okay. Now, let me introduce you by showing you this diagram, okay? This is structure of process engineering project taken from your main textbook. Later, I will introduce you our main textbook, okay? If you look at here, all right, this is basically a process flow, okay, that happened uh, at the beginning of the plan design project, all right? So, first of all, when we need to design any plant or factory, we need to have project specification. So, basically, what is meant by the project specific specification is what are we going to design? Okay, the factory is for what? To produce what? So, what is the product? Okay, and then what is the raw materials that will involve? Alright, so for let's say you are producing... Uh, uh, dairy product. So, what type of dairy product is that? Ice cream? So, if let's say it's ice cream, what is the raw material? Of course, you may have some sugar, some cream, uh, cow milk, alright, and uh, several flavors, and maybe you may have food colorings, alright, and then in here as well, the raw material is not only the material of the product, it also involves the material for packaging. Okay, because all of this information will uh, affect uh, the, pl the plan that you will design. All right. So after that, the next process would be initial evaluation. Okay, your process selection. So what your preferred process? Okay, because normally in order for you to produce a product, a certain type of product, there are several types of process. Okay, where you can use in order to produce the same product, alright, or similar product. So then, after you have selected, after you considering all the process selection, you may need to show the preliminary flow diagram. So in order to look at uh, clearly what's the process that may involve. Then after that, you need to do material and energy balances, alright, and then uh, this is basically to check, uh, to balance all the materials that will pass through one unit operation to another unit operation. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm click too quickly, these things. All right. And then, then next thing, after you identify the process, you need to check what is the equipment, all right, uh, that will support the process that going to be uh happen so for example let's say you need a heat treatment to kill the microbe so what the equipment that you're going to use all right it could be the plate heat exchanger it could be tubular heat exchanger or it could be just uh uh what they call it uh jacketed tank all right so so it depends on the needs of your plants and then after that, after you decide the, the type of equipment you're going to be used, you need to do process flow sheeting, all right? Then later on, we will do preliminary cost estimation. And at this point, you may present a feasibility report, okay? Whether your, project, your plan design project is feasible or not. Okay? Either it's economically to build or not, or either, either it's economically to proceed to 
the next step steps of design all right okay and then after that you may go to a bit detailed design where you need to do p and id okay piping and instrumentation design and then later we will do some detail process design flow sheets selecting the specific uh, spec, uh, specifying the chemical engineering equipment uh, yeah, include the design specification right uh, all right so for this step this is phase one this phase one all this we call it process design so this is task of uh, for profession this is profession for chemical and process engineers all right uh, let's look on the next one okay this is phase two okay we call this this plan design okay all right before this is process design now we go to plan design so for plan design it's not only design the building of the factory it's all it's, it's the plan design consists of the equipment design all right so and then you need to i also identify the auxiliary equipment and yeah? the, uh, the uh, auxiliary equipment design so for this step if you look at this uh, structure uh, flow chart uh, you need to select instrument okay and then uh, this determine the specification the best the specification for the instrument and then the pumps okay select the pumps and compressors and let's say if you need compressors for your process vessel design then you need to design heat exchanger design then you need to identify what is the utilities equipment yeah, the auxiliary equipment that will provide utilities to your plant for us so let's say you need steam okay uh, right water okay? clean water okay so for this part it may also involve uh, uh, drawing a yeah? simple drawing or mechanical drawing all right and then in this part the main the main objective of this part is to identify the type and the, the sizing okay the sizing okay the size of the equipment then later on next <coughs> it, we there is several process involved here okay there is electrical uh, works piping design so they may this is not in, only piping in the process line it's also pipe uh, from the main pipe to the plan right structural design of the building plan layout okay how you arrange your plan the equipment and where you want to put the office where you want to put the canteen how you arrange it okay in order to support the needs of the plan and then here the general civil work okay where require the foundation drains road of the the, the plan the area and then this is involved the building office and laboratories and the control rooms eh, and etc all right this is to plan design basically is under profession of variety of engineers chemical post chemical or process engineers civil so civil will involve structural design the building design mechanical design okay uh, if let's say there is a certain part of the building that required a mechanical mechanical engineer electrical engineers and there is also other specialists but of course this is teamwork right before civil engineers build up the plan civil engineers as well need some input from the chemical engineers in order for them to identify the needs of the plan what things need to be done okay what is the specification uh, for the plan okay uh, we will we will discuss this into detail later all right <clears throat> then the next one okay the final step will involve more about the project cost estimation the economic okay the cost estimation purchase and procurement so for this stage all right after this this will involve finalize costing all right and then it will and then uh procurement process will be done okay uh, i'm sorry there is some spelling error here okay uh so here 
all the input data from the top flow chart before this okay the raw material specification this is come from the phase one okay raw material from here and eh? the detail of here from the detail design here okay we will identify after you done the material balance you finalize the material balance you finalize your flow sheet then this information will pass through to the last stage okay this last stage which is cost estimation so we need to identify the to, to find basically the best raw material the specification that's suitable for our production all right so basically this raw material supplied by, by based on the contracts and then uh, the uh, the officer will do the purchasing and then after we purchasing the other part uh, of the design material of the design okay uh, let's say the equipment and other things that needed to support the equipment in the building okay and then we start the construction all right then after that there is normally there is a commissioning to test all the equipment inside the plant all the unit operation whether it can be operated correctly or not okay all right and every if everything okay we will can start the plant operation and then after you produce with the product we can do the sales and gain some profit all right so basically this is all the, the complete structure okay the uh, the ideal process the ideal uh, illustration of how uh, process engineering plan project happen okay but you need also to know that uh, mainly uh, in reality in industry the design work can also be subcontracted to technology vendor or provider okay or it's also known in the textbook as uh, identified in the textbook as uh, EPC, Engineering Procurement and Construction, EPC firms. So, example of EPC in Malaysia, for example, we do have APEC, alright, that is Malaysia uh, local company. And another one, uh, uh, multinational company is Desmet Palestra. Alright. So, from the, the structure just now, structure of process flow of the plan design project, you should know that knowledge of plan and process design is based, is actually a core to design a successful plan. Alright. And then thus, engineering capstan design project is a compulsory course for process engineering student. Okay, what is capstan design? Ah, so capstan design project is the one that you're going to take okay uh, in the next semester okay we call it here is process a process and food plan design project okay so it's also known as industry oriented uh, capstone okay or oriented uh, another thing <laughs> okay my spelling sorry industry oriented capstone all right so uh, the custom design project is basically a self-directed learning. Uh, you need to prepare yourself. And it's a teamwork. You cannot work alone. Because reality in the field later on, all right, when you work as engineer, you will work in a team when you, are, you need to design a plant. It, the team will consist of multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary uh, engineering field. Uh, such as civil engineer, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, uh, and of course the process engineer. Okay. And then this capstone design project as well as well will 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 polish your communication skill. So you may need to gain some information from the industry. You may need to gain some input from your team member. Uh, and then you may need to to uh, uh, do some survey eh, uh, from the uh, technology supplier, eh, the equipment supplier. So the way how you communicate, it, it really will uh, 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 influence uh, the successful of your project. And then these professional skills may involve the technical drawing, eh, all right, and other things that you have learned during the engineering. And then 
and this capstone design project will prepare you okay it's basically provide a transition from university to work